Bleak blog, star date 1st of August 2011. My hair is thinning out the front. Fuck shit ass cunt, my hair is thinning out the front. And with no warning precedent, it doesn't run in that family on either side that we can see. Other signs of the aging process I've happily met without neurosis and heading off incipient sagging with relentless and proactive jogging. Of all the things that thought might go wrong, I never foresaw this one. There's nothing good that I can see when this happens to a lady and nothing to feel but hopelessly appalled for a woman facing going bald. <laughs> never be a tragic aging celebrity who'd cut and paste her face I knew I'd meditate and do yoga too exude certain calm serenity long silver hair coiled luxuriantly and I remember wondering arrogantly about the old lady perming mystery tightly frosted curls smelling horribly of chemicals and now my scalp is shining through and the doctor says there's nothing you can do although there is a special shampoo Fifty quid a month that'll have you part, and you have to keep on using it once you've started. Or an electrical comb to stimulate the follicle, six hundred quid would be incurred. Refund guaranteed after three months if no new growth has been observed. I remember the history teacher at school with his comb over spool, the lank strand, the careful drape, and how the wind lifted it once as he jogged unwisely across the playground at the end of break. And how we laughed and took the piss at the vain attempt to hide the truth and reconfigurate his youth. Because I'm starting to see also for me regarding rearranging strands and what a waste of time that can be. It doesn't actually matter what you do, you're always going to look cool. It's alright if you're a bloke, you can just shave it all off and you still look cool. I can also see, incredibly, now that a few months have passed on, how it is possible tragically to develop empathy with Elton John. Fuck shit, arse cunt, my hair is thinning up the front.